All right, hello. This is a singe game, but first, okay, I need to talk about that I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm doing a $50 giveaway, because uh, we're hitting 500 subs really soon. I think we're like two subs, right? And by the time this goes up, we'll probably be past 500. I I just want to thank you guys for the support, right? It's It's been amazing seeing all these comments and stuff. Right, all these likes and be—it's cool. It's it's pretty it's pretty bongshu. So, um, fifty dollar giveaway, ten winners. All right, so five dollars each. I look okay. I'm not I'm not making money off the channel yet. All right, I, I'm working to support myself for now. But I, I just want to give back to the the community that's supporting me right now. So thank thank you all for uh, just giving me the time of day. So to to enter into the giveaway, like subscribe and make sure to comment all right tell me tell me something interesting in your comment like tell me about your favorite skin or like your favorite builds or like favorite patch right like tell me how you really liked devour ye because they had the little wolf that followed you in the jungle or tell me about like a cheese build that you did right with like ap rengar top or something tell me anything all right just comment and you'll be entered into the giveaway yeah like comment subscribe you, you, you know the drill but you know make sure to comment yeah so that that that's that's sort of it i think um also tell me what region of course right because i want to be like if i buy a five dollar north america rp card and then it and then you live in turkey um i i what do i do there you know right so yeah so what to do to enter the giveaway like subscribe comment tell me something about your day tell me anything all right you just gotta comment all right that's the, that's the main thing that's mainly where i'm going to be picking from so yeah anyways this is a another singed into set game um i didn't do too hot early game i think i think uh i i played it too risky and even though uh, he didn't punish me too hard, right? It was still a little worrying, right? But anyway, uh, thank you all for the support and the the comments. And I, I saw a comment like a few days, like two days ago, and it was just like, I was happy for the rest of the day. Like I was like, damn, that's that's so cool that that someone like sub to me like two months ago and is is like just watching every single video i think that's sick and i don't know that obviously i was gonna do a giveaway anyway but uh you know it's it's so cool i i don't know like i don't think i could have reached this many people uh without you guys like support you know, if you like the comment, like, or if you like the video, like, at one time, maybe it boosted it in the algorithm, you know? Like, when you YouTube search, like, Singe Top, I come up. I think that's, that's crazy. Because I'm, I'm literally just, like, some random guy, you know? And, and to, to think that my, my videos have see, been seen by, like, a hundred thousand people. Um, probably not like that. Maybe fifty thousand, okay? Maybe, maybe that's, like stretching it a hundred thousand we hit a hundred thousand views on the channel right but like thirty thousand of them are from other videos maybe forty thousand okay so let, let, let's just say like twenty thousand people have seen my videos okay i don't think one person's refreshing like ten thousand times okay i think we're good on that front all right yeah so i take a lot of damage here and i want to proc conquer uh and it it did not work out very well because conquer nerfs require one more auto and that's why it took so long to, con to get that conquer proc anyway i'm gonna speed up uh the game this is this is just basically an announcement video uh about the giveaway um i will pull the the winners in i i, I want to say a week but i don't know if that's enough time uh, cause I want to get as many people into it, you know, so everyone has like a proper chance, you know, and you know, maybe when we hit a thousand, I'll double it. All right. I'll do a hundred dollar giveaway. All right. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do, uh, either a week for the giveaway or two weeks. I don't, I don't know. I think two weeks might be a little too long. 
for people to wait. And I think a week is pretty good. So we'll, we'll do with a, a week for, for a giveaway. Yeah. And then, you know, if that, it, that doesn't work out next time, we'll do something at like 750 or something. All right. Yeah. So that, that's it. Uh, I just want to thank you, you all for your continued support and everything. And, uh, thanks for ch choosing me. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be like, you know, super sappy the entire video being like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Right. But like, seriously though, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful that, you know, you guys actually like watch my videos and stuff. And I, I definitely want to put out more like funny stuff. Right, because like Singe gameplay is, is nice and all, right? It's educational, right? You can talk a lot about about a lot of stuff, right? But like, we can be more creative on this channel, definitely. Like, I don't know why, but the wide Singe video, it was like two minutes long. It has like a thousand views, right? It gets more v it got more views than my regular videos. So I, I kind of want to do more like that, where it's like, it, it's about like the community sort of stuff rather than. You know, just spamming out full games. Like, full games are great, okay? I, I understand why people watch full games. I watch full games myself, okay? Like, Expedu, that dude's nuts, okay? I watch him, right? I'll watch him, like, anytime, okay? But, you know, we can, we can you know, do a little bit more variety. I'm not saying, like, I'm ditching League or anything. I'm still going to play League, okay? I'll, I'll say I don't enjoy League, and a lot of the times I don't. Because, you know, sometimes the game is just a little tilting. And that's just, that's just how it is, right? There's so many people that play this game. You're going to run into all sorts of people. And, you know, sometimes it's not very fun. Yeah, so here, I just, I just die to Echo. They kill Set, though, so that's pretty good. Anyways, um, did I, did I need to talk about anything else? I need, I need to stream more. I, I want to stream more, but my internet is getting throttled. And that's why I've been doing single uploads instead of streaming once and then uploading that for over a course of like a week or two. Because the the quality is awful. It's garbage. I hate it. It looks like trash. Right? And I, I was I was trying to... I was thinking about doing a montage of like my old videos, right? They're just like single plays per video, right? Like one play per video or something. And I was going through my old videos, and a lot of them were from streams. And, man, they look like they were recorded on a spoon. What is up with that? <laughs> they look awful. I don't know. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, I, I bait set, right? I obviously shouldn't have tanked so much damage, but he, he wanted to go for it. So now we get to take his tower. And that that is that. I don't think I need to commentate too much on this game. This game was like a solid game, and we had a lot of trouble with uh, the Echo. The Echo was actually really, really good. And it was kind of worrying, because at, at some point, I think two surrender votes came up. Uh, got put up. And we weren't like... We weren't too far behind, but like there was definitely moments where it was really, really tilting. And there's one point where... Uh, Kane is almost got a double kill bot, but Tarkle like saved everyone, and then he died. And he was he was mad about that. I remember that. He was like, "Bro, are you kidding me?" <laughs> but yeah, I just I, I, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself because that's that's how I emphasize stuff is uh, I repeat things like five times, not in a row, but I just repeat things like five times. Right? So like, just now, I just said it, like, that was probably, like, three times, right? It, it, it's, like, um, a way of thinking. Like, yeah, I can just repeat it, right, as I'm thinking about what to say. Or I can just not talk, right, and think about it. So, that you know, it's really weird, right? That, like, si sudden silence is, is, not, is not good, so... Um, over the course of like two or three years of streaming, I've learned to, uh, just, just say things like learn to word vomit, I think I believe is the term. And you just keep talking until you figure out what to say next. Yeah. So it, it's a way of like just processing. So I go bot and nothing happens. And then I literally run all the way back top. Oh, oh I go mid. Okay, I don't know what's going on. 
I, I don't know. This, this game was kind of like strange. So Zed kind of wants to like hit me or something. Right, I'm just proccing Conquer with autos. I ult, I dodge his Q, right? And oh, 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 watch. Oh, 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 he lived with like 10 HP. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> So I made sure to stand there in the middle so that he would be looking at me and he would also be standing in the middle. He wouldn't walk towards the, like an edge if I was standing at an edge. So like what people do is that when you chase them, right, they run away from you. So if you're coming in from the left, they'll run to the right. Usually. Yeah. Like for, for example, if I'm right here and the enemy's here, they're going to run like this way. Yeah. Cause they run away from you. Okay, and that you can force people's movement by positioning slightly different. So if I'm standing here, they're obviously going to stand farther away and it'll be over here. Yeah, that's that's usually what happens is that they want to generally avoid you because you know avoid damage and stuff like that, right? And that 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 makes perfect sense. And it's a bit more relevant in uh, in like mid lane or positioning and like wave management is a bit more important but like especially when you're chasing someone if you chase them right here they'll run here and then they'll run into this corner right and it's easier to land stuff right here because there's not much place where you can go or they could just run straight right but you can you can try to like you know have them f panic right and be running here and then you run downwards yeah i that, that that's just a that's just a note Okay, so we're doing pretty good this game, right? We're up like 2k gold, which is pretty good, but most of the gold is on Kane, which is, which sometimes is problematic, especially if Kane uh, fails to do his job. And that, that happens sometimes, and that's, you know, that's no one's fault. That's just kind of like, you know, only one person having gold is not great. So uh, Zed lives because he presses ult, and then I... You know, I get pulled in and then something happens. I get hit by the true damage, which does 400 true damage. I think set is disgusting. It's a fun champ, though. I, I definitely can, can see why people play the champion. It's very fun. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, I, 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 have a, I have a set skin on a smurf. And then I just I just go punch people, you know. I think it's fun. It's funny. But yeah, this set was actually played the, the game pretty well uh, with his pressure. He always just kind of showed up to do things. Like, he, he was just, he would just show up. And then he would kill bot lane, like, just now. Like, how did he get there? You know, he TP'd. All, most of his TPs were pretty, pretty solid. And uh, I'm pretty, like, damn. This guy was, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, I could have matched him. But yeah, we went and conquered with Ignite, because that's usually what you do. We didn't take TP because a lot of the times I was like, you know what? I see a set and I'm like, okay, I'm going to beat him up. And then he he played very, very well to the point where I couldn't just like out trade him. Because he propped Conquer first and then I would do it like in double the time, which is, you know, not great, obviously, right? Obviously, you want to get Conquer propped as fast as possible, but as a singed, you don't really have too many chances to do that. Your Q has to run a full cycle before it does another stack of Conqueror. And that takes, what, four seconds or something? This doesn't even tell me. I I'm going to say four seconds, right? It's better to just try to auto as fast as possible. Maybe even taking attack speed might help. Like, because having a long fight is great if you have Conqueror, but if you... You know, if you if you can't if you can't last that long, or you know, if if you can't weave in those autos and you, you die before then, it's just not worth it. So he pops over the wall. I just I just ignore him. I just wanna I just wanna like push this back at the minions, right? I've been working on my CS. I'm 160, 163 at 22 minutes, which isn't which isn't too bad. Uh, could be better, obviously. But I have been roaming. That's why I have three assists. Alright. But 
I'm not I'm still not matching the 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 set and the reason that for that is because Peach's clear is better my my Q doesn't do as much damage it's less focused damage right before they changed the way uh, the Q ticks so now it, t it used to take just every second and now it takes every half second every fourth second that was like way before I got really good at timing it right now it looks like people melt yeah like the minion melted there before it would it would tick for like 40 instead of like 10 right and from what I know I heard that they actually messed the number up they messed the number up instead of ticking four times right it was ticking for three times so we actually lost 25% of our Q damage but I, I can't confirm that I, I don't know I, I I don't feel like and that was a long time ago it was like a couple like probably two three years ago right there's I don't, I don't know where like you know how I can you know confirm that I can't really I don't have like a way to compare it but yeah this was a solid fight this was great you know Jin just didn't do damage he was he was 6-1 and he just didn't do damage to me Right, I only ha I have two AP items and a tabbies. Right, tabbies reduces auto attacks by twelve percent, which is big. Okay, that's maybe what, depending on how much armor. I can't really say, but straight up twelve percent is pretty solid. Right, so I go mid to push while Jinx takes the dragon because I know she has life steal. Right, but she's able to take it. Like she was low, but. You know, no one was going to contest her, right? There's, there's not a whole lot she was going to, you know, have have a tr have trouble with. All right, and I'm pretty sure Conquer helped a lot in that situation there as well. Um, I did. They just, they kind of just let me like run around. No one really focused me, you know. Like Set went for Galio, and Echo went for Jinx, and you know, and I was just kind of there, right? Tarek was trying to peel for Jin, but Jin doesn't do damage, and Tarek doesn't do damage, and I was just kind of there. I was just running at him, and I was burning him. I proc'd Conqueror off of Zed or something, like, you know, they, what, what were they going to do? Huh? Nothing. They can't do anything. I'm just the better player, alright? So, we, we speed this up because this is just farming. There's not a whole lot going on here. Baron is up, but we're not exactly going to take a 26-minute Baron when Jinx has two items yeah so I'm running around to troll around and this is a bad idea uh, don't walk into an echo <laughs> he, he just he just you know he got the got the thing and uh, this echo is really really good um, I actually said you know well played echo because this guy is actually kind of nuts like he, he knows his champion he knows his damage and uh yeah so three people die there actually which is really really bad and they're trying to do baron and jinx has two items and this is taking way too long and now jinx is dead so we lost four people and we lose baron completely awful and the thing that you should have done right if you were in my shoes is to tell kane and zyra to piss off. Tell them to go somewhere else. Tell them to go Baron, right? Because they had two people on me at bot, right? If I die, they were at Baron, right? And Echo was there. Echo, as their jungler, was there screwing around with me with Zed. Zed obviously wasn't going to be in the fight for very much longer, right? He was like 300 HP, so he was obviously going to back, so that's less competition for the Baron, right? And Echo, even if he did kill me, he would still be by it. There was no way he would be able to reach Baron when there was four people on it shredding it down, right? But you know, it's it, it just didn't work out. I don't I don't I don't I don't know if they they didn't listen to me or if I just didn't say anything. I think I just didn't say anything. Someone said go bot, and then we go Baron, and then Kane showed up bot, and so did Zyra, and they both died, and then there was just not enough damage. To secure the baron right yeah anyways so you see here that jinx has no peel whatsoever and she just sort of gets her ga procced by zed and that that's sort of it like what what is she gonna do you know well that that's over the fight's over jinx couldn't enter the fight 
Kane died really, really fast. Sorry, that was that was a burp. I don't know why I burped. I didn't even like eat anything. But yeah, that that was that was just like a garbage fight. There was not much you can do. Echo does have 14 stacks on his Medj eyes, and it seems like he knows that he's gonna get more stacks, which is a little dangerous because big stacks, big damage, not good, right? So I tossed the W on the on the Z shadow just in case he wanted to pop in with his ult. Because I know by that time he didn't he didn't have he has ult. Zettel is actually like really really low cooldown. I think it's like 40 seconds at some point. Or maybe even lower. I don't know. But yeah, so we just clear mid. There's not a whole lot to do here because Baron's down, no dragon, right? Top is gonna get caught by either Kane or Zyra. Right, and I'm just here mid to, to get some CS, right? Obviously, I don't want to fight, all right? Jin does have armor pen. He does have a uh, mortal reminder, right? So that's that's not that's not that great, you know? He's going through my my ninja tabby and my, uh, what's this called? Warden's Mail. He's going through that. At this point, I have 160 armor, which means that I need more armor. Uh, Jin is still 6-1. Zed, I don't really have to worry about. Set still hurts. Okay. And honestly, I don't think Echo is going to be focusing me in fights. So we can capitalize on that by building more armor. So right now, I, I bought an Omen, right? Omen's great because it reduces straight up crit, right? Right here. Look at this. Minus 20% damage taken from basic attack critical strikes, right? It straight up just reduces Jin's damage because right now he has like 50% crit, right? I, I can't, I don't, I don't know how to use this. Right, right now he's like straight up 50% crit. So on half of his attacks plus the fourth, so maybe like 60%. See, mm. Maybe like 60%. 60% of his autos are going to be reduced by 20% damage. Plus minus 12% damage from Ninja Tabbies. I'm reducing a lot of damage from his autos so we just need to you know we we just need to chill okay right now i have rylize i got liadri's so i'm good on damage right i can get more damage right i also have a protobout to help me proc conquer a little better but we don't need to do a whole lot okay so i flash i flip the set because i know set is low right what is he gonna do right and I'm running around, okay, but I don't I don't want to run around too too wild, okay? Because it's still dangerous for us. Yeah, we're we're not, you know. If Echo ran up to me, I would die. He does a lot of damage, and he has 18 stacks now on his Medjais, plus Lich Bane, plus Morello, which is reducing my Conqueror healing, which is really annoying, by the way. They need to make Grievous Wounds uh less affordable. No, actually, that's wrong because. I don't want to deal with the Silas. I will straight up buy an Executioner's for 800 gold to, to stop the Silas healing. Silas healing is actually disgusting. He, he can get Grievous Wound and then still heal back like full HP from the auto, so I don't, I don't know. I think that's trash. I flip Echo off of the Jinx, right? And now Zed's on her, but I think she's good, right? She does have a GA up back, right? I'm just running forward. I know Jin doesn't do damage to me, right? And the only person I really need to be afraid of is Set, because he's kind of he's kind of spooky. Yeah. So we're running around here. I flip him off of the Galio so Galio can uh, wait on his cooldowns, right? Because Galio cooldowns are relatively low, but we can't just like spam him. So I flip him off of the flip him off because <laughs> that's not so bad. I flipped him off. Um, so that, you know, he wouldn't just die to set. Because set's autos do a lot of damage. Right here. Echo goes in, flashes. I E him, right? That counts. That's basically a stun, right? He can't do anything in that E. And I make sure to try to weave in an auto or get Jinx. Jinx did use his her W there. So he did die basically instantly. And he couldn't do nothing about it. He just used ult and, you know solid fight all right we won that fight we we killed five we went five to two all right that was good kane died but he did his purpose he cc'd people zyra died but you know it's zyra she can just push all her keys you know press all the keys on her keyboard 
and uh if she dies it's fine it's not really a loss she's her, her cooldowns are kind of long so so this is kind of like a weird fight i ignite the the zed thinking i can uh do enough damage but i did get like exhausted or something there i'm just gonna auto the the gin like what is he gonna do huh seriously what is he gonna do so we we want to start the baron but we kind of don't do a whole lot of damage like we don't have jinx jinx did die in that fight right zyra's looking to zone which is great he always probably should have someone zoning right and obviously she doesn't do a whole lot of damage right she's there to like cc i toss my w down right echo uses his ult really really early and loses the baron i flip the zed because i thought it was funny and uh he lives because he just he just throws his shadows i should be dead here like this like echo should have gone on me right now because there was no way I, I i didn't have e right no, i did i do have e right zed was nearby he could have thrown a q right i should have died i actually thought i was dead and i was just gonna stay in the baron pit and die i, I was just gonna be like i accept my fate but they they did want it because yeah i don't i don't know but at this point we have two mountain drakes which is increasing my armor and magic resist and i have three armor items if you count tabbies so now i have a thorn mail because set is healing a lot this guy's healing a lot mm, this guy not that much this guy a little bit you know you know the redemption from Tarek and stuff right those those are kind of you know a lot of it's a lot of healing right and obviously i want to reduce that if people are attacking me and I want to get a lot of armor because Echo's not going to do enough damage to me because I have a decent amount of HP from my two or three AP items, which all include HP in it. Which is pretty, it's pretty bong shoot, okay? It's pretty good. So Galio goes for the, the, the all in here. And I flip the Jin, Jin right? He, he immediately flashes out, which is whatever. And he's ulting here for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, so, you know what, I'm like, I'll, I'll leave him be, I'll come back to the fight, let's flip set into the Jinx, you know, and then Jin comes back and dies, I, I'm not really sure if he was autofilled or what, but he, he like completely screwed up his, his game, he could have done so much better, and uh, Tarek left the game, Tarek leaves the game here, because I, I guess he was getting flamed or something, in in the in the after uh lobby right in the end screen end game end game lobby right he was flaming everyone even though he left like five minutes before the game ended a like, dude was dude was you know complaining about losers queue you know you know the deal right this gin was bad this guy was bad and uh zed did leave because he thought the game was over but we didn't actually have enough minions or damage to push uh, I goo flip the, the set, you know, just testing my damage, right? That's a third of his HP. That's pretty good, right? And obviously he can't do very much here. Uh, Echo gets caught by the, the Galio, but he is very, very fast. So I flip Zed instead, uh, who also pops the thing. And then he just sort of, I get juked. Okay, I, I thought he was going to, you know, keep running because I forgot. I, I, I didn't even see that he ulted in that fight. Wow, did you see that? That was a fourth shot crit from Jin that did 200 damage. He has four items and he did 200 damage with his fourth shot crit. I'm just saying, okay, I'm just pointing it out that the, 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 the damage reduction I have from 318 armor with Tabbies and Omen is, you know, it's helping quite a bit. Jin can't do anything against me. And obviously, you know, I actually didn't notice that Tarek was not in this game. He just left. I didn't even notice. I thought, I thought, you know, mm, something was wrong, but I didn't, I didn't really think too much of it. You know, all I wanted to do was end this game because this, this game was painful with the echo. Right, and this game wasn't too bad. Okay, but it was, it was like unfavorable for my team if we kept going. But obviously, since Tarek rage quit, you know, game was a lot. A lot less of a burden because you know Tarek ult couldn't just turn off all damage for like three seconds right echo gets caught here right 
And I don't even do anything here, to be honest. I just show up, you know? I flip the Z, and I know he's he's gonna W, right? So I'm just like, eh, whatever. You know, flash the mastery, right? Walk back to the gin. I wanted the assist, okay? And, you know, that's the game. They surrendered, too. I said GG to Echo. The Echo was actually really, really good. Uh, congrats to him. Uh, I, I wish him uh, good games in the future. But yeah, look, look, look. I said, uh, sorry about Tarek. Uh, report Tarek. I said, GG, Zeko, you're nasty. Yeah, and then he called himself dog shit. But this guy was good. I don't know. This guy was kind of... He, he did well, given his uh, circumstances. I did well, too. Okay, I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna downplay my achievement. Okay, I did the most damage in the game. All right? I'm just pointing that out. Okay, I did the... Look at this. 37k okay i did the most all right anyways uh best of luck to the people who want to win the giveaway for five dollars rp i don't know if we can buy anything with five dollars rp okay uh, how, how, how much is five dollars rp i don't even know how much that is okay how much is that what can you what can you buy with five dollars rp how, how much is that it's 650 rp you can get a single skin you, you can get a uh a, like a 1.1350 champion uh you can uh what can you buy the 650 infernal akali because it's on sale uh let's okay um uh golden alistar for 170 <laughs> uh black belt udir the best udir skin perfect you can get this or this or this skin, she's so damn cute. Oh my god. You, uh, these are some okay skins. You know, Draven Draven, it just gives him a giant head. Like, these are some okay skins, you know. I, I hope you guys play some of these champions. Otherwise, you know, maybe save up the RP for the next giveaway. Alright? Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to comment if you want to enter the giveaway. Alright? Winners announced in a week. PogChamp. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for everything. And I'm a peace out. Woo!